Hello, and this is a video review for the Hanayama um, cast news puzzle. Um, so there's the puzzle. I'll just show you the box quickly first. So this is what the box looks like. Um, it, they claim it's a level six on their difficulty rating, so that one of their mo most difficult puzzles. Um, there's a little bit about uh, Hanayama puzzles there, and then a bit more there about this specific puzzle. Um, and then the puzzle itself, uh, you pick it up and it feels extremely weighty. It's got a good solid weight to it. it, it it's a really nice thing to hold. It, it feels really quality. Um, now, as you can see, this is north east, south and west, exactly like a compass would be. Um, and that, I think that's probably what kind of attracted me to this one. Um, I just think it aesthetically looks one of the best out of the Hanayama puzzle uh, range, these small pocket puzzle uh, ones. So, uh, yeah. Now, to actually solve this, it took me about, how long did it take me to solve it? About... 25 minutes to 25 to 40 minutes it took me to solve this uh, i was a little bit stumped at first but i, I did get there in the end um and uh, yeah so the 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 details on this are incredibly nice the nice letters same on both sides and that's really all there is to say about the actual look of the thing. Um, I'll just say now that I am going to be showing the solution for this puzzle now. So if you don't want to see the solution, stop the video here. Um, I would recommend this uh, puzzle. It's a very nice puzzle. I do like the solution. Um, and I did enjoy working out how to do it. And I recommend it. And it's as simple as that. I, d I, d I think it's a good puzzle. Uh, but if, like I say, if you don't want to see the solution, stop the video and come back to it when you have solved it or um, decided you're not bothered about seeing the solution or what, whatever the case may be, um, just, you know, don't watch any further from now. So with that said, uh, I'll show you the solution. So the way this works is that you have to spin it. So... You have to lay it flat on a flat surface and just give it a good spin. And then what you have to do is where the south uh, is pointing, or the you know, the south part, you tip it that way. So you tip it up and over that way, very carefully and very gently. Give it another spin, doesn't matter which way. And then this can lift off and the puzzle is solved essentially. Uh, so how this works, and it took me the longest time to work out how this works uh, and worked, because I did solve it this way, but I, I kind of found out accidentally. I was just spinning it, and then I eventually flipped it over, and then I spun it, and I spun it, and then it just came apart, and I thought, well, what did I do that was right in order for this to come apart? And after looking at these two parts in detail, I realized how this works. So how this works is you've got these pins, these black pins that come out of either side. They fall out of both sides, uh, which lock the two halves together. Now, to get them to move out of the way, um, you have to spin it, uh, as you saw. But if you have it this way up, and this is where I was a bit confused and didn't know what was going on, a pin, oh, there we go, the pin comes out and you spin it this way up with the uh, closed side up, the peg will either not go in at all or it will stop at this point and it won't go in any further so it's still holding it together. So what I think's happening is that in here is that something drops down uh, enough to stop that peg going in all the way. Because when you flip it up this way, that peg will go in all the way. So when you spin it this way up, 
and the peg out so you can see. The peg or pegs go completely. So that's why it's important that you actually flip the puzzle over um, how I showed you. Uh, you can't just flip it over anyway because if you flip it over the wrong way those pegs will come back out. So to reset it you take one half you make sure that the pegs are in. If the pegs happen to come out when you've got the two halves separate just do what I did a minute ago and give it a little spin uh, on, on the table. You can put your finger in there if you want just to stop those pegs coming out while you turn it over or you can very carefully just turn it over this way like that and then you've got your north and your south and then you just need to line it up so that you've got the compass um, in the right order rather than it going north, west, south, east or whatever you know make sure it's north, east, south, west when you're happy with how it's together lift it up by the west and east part like that pinch it in the middle and then just tilt it or you can shake it, give it a little shake like that, and then the puzzle is reset. Those pins have fallen back into place and everything is once again held together. So that is how you solve the news puzzle. Um, like I say, I, I did kind of accidentally solve this one, but it was a really enjoyable experience. I was very confused at first um, and I thought my, my initial thoughts were that it was going to be magnets because of it being a you know, a, 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 a compass and the way a compass works with the magnetic field. But uh, that that is how uh, this one actually works. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, like it if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, but do tell me what, if you didn't like the video, do tell me what I can improve on. Uh, I do plan to do a few more of these Hanayama puzzle videos. Um, so yeah, until then, um, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.